Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back at it again with another Chanel unboxing and this is truly the holy grails of holy grails when it comes to Chanel. But honestly, it might not be what you guys think it is. First of all, let's just quickly appreciate my jewelry and my watch and I got this new Christian Dior. Why is it? Yeah, Christian Dior. Ooh, focus. I got this new Christian Dior bracelet and this new Christian Dior ring and yeah okay um let's get right into it so yeah this is an item that's honestly extremely extremely popular and hard to get in terms of Chanel and of course my beautiful lovely essay pulled through I mean I was on a wish list for three months um for this item but it's honestly comparatively less than what I had imagined it to be so I'm very happy that I have it and let's get right into it so yeah the box is just huge so I, that's why i'm just moving it out of the way i mean not the box sorry the bag it's like humongous so yeah and here we have the item and from the size of the box can you guys tell what it may be if yes comment on my video below and let's see if you guys get it right this was the first ever item that I ever, ever, ever wanted from Chanel. And believe it or not, this was the only item I wanted from Chanel. And I was like, yeah, I'm only gonna buy one Chanel bag and it's gonna be this one and I won't buy any other Chanel bags ever again. Boy, I was wrong. Also guys, don't mind my voice. I actually don't know why it sounds like this. Like I'm not even sick or anything. I don't know why it's just nasally. I truly don't know. Anyways, that being said, Let's get into it. So this was supposed to be my one and only Chanel bag. And if I could still, I still stand by this. If I could only have one Chanel bag, it would either be this one or a small classic flap. Um, but you guys will know what I mean when I open it up. All right, so let's get started. And honestly, I thought it was impossible for me to ever get it. That's why I just started buying other bags. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm ever getting this one. So. This is honestly like unbelievable. Like I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. I just love Chanel packaging. And I always leave my camellias like on the top of the box while I'm doing unboxings. I don't know, it's just a habit. All right. What do you guys do with your camellias and ribbons by the way? Let me know. Because I love them and they're too like pretty and cute to throw out, right? Like, all right. Loving the aesthetic right now. So this is honestly the first time i'm gonna be seeing it since i've purchased it and i'm actually nervous like i don't know why but i just can't believe that this is real like i say that about every bag guys i know but genuinely this one is different like i feel like i'm complete like my chanel collection is complete i know the recent rumors that are going on about chanel and how um they want to do a coda system just like another brand you guys probably know what i'm talking about and how chanel wants to have vip stores only and things like that which has been off-putting a bit especially with the low quality issues so i honestly just feel like this has completed me and my chanel i wouldn't say journey but collection for now i mean if i love if i really really like something and if i want it i'm gonna get it but generally speaking i understand like what everyone's saying in their point of views because i've experienced it myself i've experienced horrible customer service at chanel the brand should match its quality and its customer service number one because that's how the brand is still alive because of customers right so yeah that's just my little rant i might um cut this out completely but if i don't here it is and now enough of the talking and let's get right into it i'm still glad that i have this item i'm very thankful and you know just overall happy with this but you know in general chanel needs to step it up but let's get back to the unboxing so beautiful i hope you guys like it as much as me i hate ripping this off if it's not like perfect there and i don't even know how it's wrapped so i don't know if it's just gonna show oh my god 
it is. <laughs> Here we go for the big reveal. Here's the dust bag, which I'm gonna leave. Let me open it up. Here I have, you guys know what it is, right? <laughs> oh my God, I love how she wrapped it. I'm trying to see how it is so I can rewrap it like this. All right. Ooh, there's a cute little black and all sticker. Cute. So we're just gonna follow that. That was just for the chain, I think. And I hate ripping it, but it is what it is. Here we go. And here we have the beautiful mini classic flap in black lambskin and champagne gold hardware. Stunning legitimately stunning look at the bottom so this is the smallest classic bag or classic flap you can get and for those of you guys who know what it is you guys know how hard it is to get this item let me just quickly put this aside and show you guys what's in the box and then we'll move on with this okay there we go okay so inside is a dust bag Nicely, cutely wrapped, love that. I'll put that on the side. And then we have the, um, don't mind the sirens in the back, it's an ambulance. Anyways, so here we have the cloth to, you know, wipe the item. And then we have, um, let me take this out, the care booklet, of course. And let me put that aside. And then it's just some Chanel tissue paper and yeah. All right, so here it is. And the lambskin honestly on this is very, very beautiful. Like it seems more, ooh, the light change. It seems more stronger or durable, I should say, in comparison to some of the other lambskins I have in my collection. So yeah, and here's the sticker still on, of course. Here's the sides, here's the other side. The back just looks like a classic flap. Let's open it up. So it's the turn lock closure, we open it up. Here's a felt to protect the leather underneath. And here's what it looks like when you open it, stunning. And then it's stuffed, of course. When you remove the stuffing, it says, Chanel made in France, and it has the little plaque for authenticity, and then the chain. There you go. And then there's a zipper, of course. Here it is, it also has a sticker. And then there's a pocket, which also has tissue. You can open the zipper. And then that's the inside. And then I close it. And then this is what the chain looks like. It's very nice. It's very like thick and beautiful. And here is the beauty. The lambskin feels really, really good, honestly, on this one in comparison to my classic flaps or um, my caramel rectangular mini. By the way, if you guys haven't already watched that video, you guys should definitely check it out. I have another mini, which is a caramel mini, and you guys should check it out. That was my first ever rectangular mini, and this is my second one, and I'm just so, so, so happy that I have it. It retails for around 3,360 pounds, Great British pounds, and in Canadian dollars, that's around, I think, 5,700 Canadian dollars. I'm not too sure, but I think it's around that. And um, I also bought a few other items. But of course, I will be making a separate video for that. It will be just beautiful, beautiful Chanel items, classic and just beautiful. But yeah, this is just a beauty. And I am just so stunned to speak. Like, like uh, I just can't believe it. It's just beautiful. So I put my name on the list for this bag in, I think, February or March. 
I think February. Yeah, February, and then I just ended up getting it now. So it's honestly beautiful. Just couldn't be any happier. And I also have a square mini, which the lambskin is way more delicate than this one. Like I can just tell. And if you guys wanna see a comparison between the rectangular mini and the square, let me know. I can also do a comparison between the mini, small and medium classic flap because I do have all of those as well. And I will do a size comparison and what fits inside for you guys as well if that's what you're interested in. Here's the rummets that have the chain. So the small classic flap has four of these and this one only has two. The small classic flaps also have a back pocket and so does this one. And I just feel like this is perfect for like evenings, date nights, uh, special occasions like weddings, birthdays and things like that. Like I feel like it's just the perfect mini black bag. Like you know how every girl needs to have a little black dress in her wardrobe? Yeah, this is the equivalent of the little black bag. Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, this is just a beauty. And yeah, like I was saying, for those of you who know, it's extremely hard to come by these mini rectangular flaps because they're always usually sold out everywhere and they're only um, sold to like the VIP clients and things like that. Like, it's very difficult. So yeah, getting on the wish list, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put my name down, but I probably won't get it for a really long time. But you know what? I was wrong and here it is and I'm, I feel very lucky and blessed and let me know your guys' experience with getting classic colors in mini rectangular flaps. I feel like I want to add a white one. I know I said this was like going to complete my journey in the beginning of this video literally but I've always wanted a white Chanel bag and that's one color that I haven't experienced yet. I have had variety of colors of Chanel bags and I still do have colored. Actually I'm lying. No I don't. I only have the caramel. But I have, I've had many colored Chanel bags in the past and white is one color that I've always wanted but I just never found the perfect white or the collection that has the perfect shade of white. So that's something that I want to have next but in the same rectangular mini or the square mini size because I just feel like those are the sizes I use more. I feel like I use them even more than my uh, classics, like classic flaps I mean, like the small and the medium. So yeah, definitely that's my goal. And yeah, I mean, if you guys have any other questions, I will be more than happy to answer them for you guys. And I would also like to hear you guys' experience, like genuinely, is it really hard to get these bags or is it just that Chanel makes it seem that it's hard to get these bags? Cause I, I see a lot on the resale market and I actually put in an offer on, um, what's the app, Versatire Collective, Versatire. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, I put an offer in for this exact bag, but coincidentally, literally the next day I got a call to go get it. So yeah, I'm just glad I waited and here it is. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I will definitely be filming more comparison videos and things like that um, about this bag and with my, all my other Chanel bags, especially the classics. So stay tuned for that and have a great day. Peace.